Sexual reproduction involves two parents. Each parent typically produces sex cells called gametes. This video will look at the process of gamete formation in plants. This image here represents the male part of the plant. It is known as the stamen. The stamen is made up of two parts. First of all, we have the anther and then we have the filament. Male gamete formation in plants takes place in the anther of the plant. This image here represents the transverse section of the anther. As you can see that it's made up of a vascular bundle and many pollen sacs. Inside each of the pollen sacs, there is numerous microspore mother cells. These microspore mother cells are diploid cells. During gamete formation, the microspore mother cells divide by meiosis to form a cluster of four haploid cells. Each of these haploid cells undergo mitosis. To try and keep the diagram as simple as possible, I'm just going to concentrate on one of these cells, but do remember that all of the cells undergo mitosis here. So during mitosis, the nucleus in the haploid cell turns into two separate nuclei. These are called the tube nucleus and the generative nucleus. The cell then goes under mitosis one more time where the generative nucleus forms two sperm nuclei. The two sperm nuclei form the male gamete. The tube nucleus plays a role in double fertilization where a pollen tube grows down from the tube nucleus through the style and towards the ovule. This is where the male gametes confuse with the female gametes in the ovary. I hope you found this video helpful.